Great answer, thanks. So Marianne has a, another question. So with the lease option with seller, if I don't buy in a land trust, what do I write on top of the agreement? Do I put my name if I don't have an LLC? So the quick well, answer would be get a land trust. <laughs> <laughs> Why not do a land trust, Marianne? I mean, that's really the answer. And by the way, that protects the seller too. So that if anything happens to you, if anybody sues you, if any, if you were to pass away, anything like that, the fact that that relationship and that document uh, is in a trust is actually a protection for the seller as well. So when you get the skills, again, there are ways to say certain things that clarifies things for the seller. And those are the things that you need to learn. You don't want to wing this because many times we're talking about a significant profit in these properties. And by the way, the seller knows that we're making a profit. We make it clear to them that we can't buy their property if we can't make a profit. And they allow for that. When we do that cost to sell worksheet, they actually grant us uh, a, a certain amount for the fact that we're purchasing the property uh, from them. So they understand that we're making a profit on here, and we're bringing something special to the table because of the fact that they are not going to have to go through the typical pain and suffering of selling a property because definitely deals fall apart all the time because people can't qualify for loans and they've got to fix things and they've got to do all kinds of things that they don't have to do when they sell a property to us. Yeah. And 30% of the people who could qualify for a loan at the beginning of 2020, at a bank no longer can. So that pool has definitely shrunk. And it occurs to me. Uh